The following is an excerpt from WRFG's public affairs program named Radio Free Activist, hosted by Brian Sherman. This is from December 30th, 2013 at 12.30 p.m. It's an interview of poet Stephen Wing talking about a collective book of poetry from the Oakhurst Earth Poetry Collective. Oakhurst Garden, excuse me. And the title is What Kind of Seed Am I? The title of the poetry book. Bing. Organization that, that you put together of, of ecological poets. So Stephen yeah. Wing, welcome once again to Radio Free Activist. Tell us please what, what you're doing as an activist poet. Everything I possibly can. Um, uh, part of the theme of this uh, booklet that I'm talking about is um, that it's, it's, it's now time for everybody to step up and do whatever you can in your particular corner of the world, your particular occupation or, or career, uh, to try to change the direction of civilization before it's too late. And uh, as a poet, even though uh, poetry is not exactly a career or an occupation, uh, you can't really make much money at it, but you still can have an influence on the world so um, one way I've done that is, is writing political poetry and performing political poetry, but um, really closer to my heart is what I call earth poetry. And it's a, a, th a theme I noticed running through my own poetry, and then I started exploring uh, poetry at large, the, the poetry of different times and places around the planet. And I, d I discovered that this is a theme through all poetry, um, the theme of oneness with nature, uh, the theme of uh, the wonder and mystery of nature and uh, nature not as something out there but something that I am part of that um, nature as a community that I participate in and uh, the way uh, the way things are going with the uh, exploitation of what's called the environment um, everything else may pretty soon become secondary to that in terms of uh, the need to turn civilization around so um, it occurred to me to share this perception and encourage it in other poets. And so uh, in 2012, I, uh, with the encouragement of Andrea at the Oakhurst Community Garden, I started a, a workshop that happens every season at the, at the garden over there in Decatur. And it just gathers poets together to um, read their, their favorite poems to each other on the theme of our relationship with the earth. And uh, then we split up after the sharing time and we wander individually in the garden and take notes on what catches our eye there uh, in that, that this very little tame corner of nature. Uh, it's still amazing how many of the um, amazing phenomena of nature are on display there right in the middle of our city. And after um, a couple of years of this, it um, it just made sense for us to collect some of our work in an anthology. So this is a very modest uh, booklet called "What Kind of Seed Am I?" And it's um, only twenty. Wait, 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 we can't say. We... Oops, we can't say the price on the air. But I, I will say the cover price is very, very inexpensive. Right. Yeah, I wasn't going to mention that, oh, okay. but it's a, I was going to say it's only 24 pages, and it oh, has, okay. <laughs> has worked by, by seven or eight of the poets from our, our little group that has formed uh, over the seasons. And I uh, hope I'm allowed to mention that our next uh, workshop, the winter workshop, will be happening uh, Sunday, uh, Sunday, February 23rd from 2 to 4 p.m. there at Oakhurst Community Garden, which is just off McDonough behind Agnes Scott College. And our anthology is called What Kind of Seed Am I? And the idea of this is that it can grow um, as, as other poets get involved and other, other poetry sprouts out of our, our sessions. Uh, Stephen, when you, you said there's going to be an event, you said February 23rd, is that the date? That's our winter workshop. They yeah. happen once a, a season, every four is, times a year. Can anyone come? Yes, anyone can come. What we ask is that you bring a, a poem to share, either your own or a favorite poet's. And, um, and that's all. Uh, donations are accepted, but not required by any means. And uh, it's, it's been really, really fun to, to see the fellowship that's grown among the, the poets that some poets just come once, others are regulars, and we have a little community growing there in the garden. 
Okay, and, and can you tell us who, who the poets are who are represented and in, in what kind of seed am I? Um, I can do that, but not very easily. It'd be easier to do by uh, reading some of their poems. Okay, do you want, do you want to select some poems and, and, and read a couple for our listeners? Sure. Sure, this one's by Deborah Hires. It's called Dog Writes Poetry Too. Dog is real cool, listens to birds, chickens, laughter of children, splashes in creek, chasing tadpoles, then lays down low on the shady side of the grass, nose twitching, feet wet. And one of the things I enjoy about this is that the, there are so many different forms that poetry comes in and um, styles, and a lot of them are represented in this little booklet. This one's by Ted Pettis, who was a lecturer at Emory. This is called, What Kind of Seed Am I? Did I, did I float down the river, a flotatious river seed, or bank on the breeze like a seed of a dandelion weed? Did I come from a star fruit with radial symmetry, or fall from a flowering flower into the wild sea? Did I fall from a tree and like a helicopter fly? Will I float across the water and become a coconut pie? Will I gestate in the gizzard of a singing songbird and enter the soil as a singing bird's turd? Or am I a kernel, a kernel of corn, commanding the corn troops of silken cobbed corn? I may be a grain of wheat, barley or rye, and go into a liquor that city folks buy. Or was I buried by squirrels like a scrumptious acorn? Or did I hitch a ride on the hide of a mighty staghorn? Am, I am the seed in your garden that grows and grows, the planted generator of a cabbage or a rose, the wayward seed on the aft-blowing breeze that carries the cotton of the cottonwood trees. Okay, and who, who was the poet who wrote that? That's Ted Pettis. Ted Pettis. I don't know Ted Pettis, but it's a, it's a very, very imaginative, good, good poem to listen to. And poets are even allowed to rhyme. All right, yes, yes. <laughs> Um, I, th I think hip hop has really brought that back that it's that it's fun to en to enjoy rhyme and poetry now. Um, okay, um, who who are the editors of what kind of seed am I? Well, it was um, we put out a call to the poets in the group, and um, the ones that showed up for our little um, committee sessions were me, Whitney E. Walton, Angela Anji Sarumi, and Nene Oniaha. Okay, so the four of you edited the, edited what kind of a seed am I, and and we're uh, the the price is is very low. So if any of our listeners would like uh, this excellent book of poetry, where when, where can they p pick up this book? Well, the best way would be to come to our session in February, but if you just can't wait that long, I guess you could email me. Okay, so, uh, Stephen Wing, what is what is your email address, please? It's s wing, s w i n g. 1027 at gmail.com. Okay, you want to say it one more time? Swing, S swing, 1027 at gmail.com. S swing, 1027 at gmail.com. And, and you've been very modest. You've read some, some of the other poets' poetry. Do you have one of your own you'd like to share with our listeners today? Sure. This one is called First Blooming. And I had a bookmark there. Okay, yes. Uh, we're, this is Stephen Wing. Of, and what, what's the, the group of, I've called you, you know, Ecological Poets, but what, what is the, is there an official name for the group? Um, no, it's the Earth Poetry Workshop. So Earth I poetry. guess we are the Earth Poets, but uh, there's many more of us than just the ones that needed our, our little garden. But that, that's a nice phrase, Earth, earth Poetry. It's better, better than the one I just And I just add that the, that the Oakhurst Community Garden is accessible by Marty. Just get out at the... The Cater Martyr Station, and just keep walking down, McDon go downhill on McDonough, cross over the railroad tracks, continue downhill for about another eight or ten minutes, and, and you're right at the, the Oakhurst Community Garden, sometimes known as the Sally Wild, uh, um, Sally Wild Center, I think that, that yeah. is the Wild Center. W yeah, it's on the corner of Oakview, <clears throat> and you'll You'll notice it on your right because of the trees and the gardens. Right. And it's a great place to walk around. Okay, Stephen Wing, you've got one of your own poems. What are you going to share with us? This is First Blooming. Okay, here we go. Spring garden, seeded with small feet and children's shoes, watered by splashing silvery cries of happy exploration, wandering attention, little discoveries. Between the green spears of joy shooting skyward, swaying in place along the gravel paths, and the green sprays of delight, fluttering along the branches above 
anchored by firm-fingered roots deep in the earth, young minds open little by little to their first blooming. Okay, no, that, that's very nice. I like it, and I'd like you to tell us how you came to write it, please. Well, this is one of the ones that, that came from our workshops when we um, split up and we wander around the garden um, taking notes. Sometimes all I come back with are notes, but sometimes uh, a, form be a poem begins to form, and uh, usually we sit there at our, our table and do whatever polishing um, that we'd like to do before we share it with the group. Um, so that one pretty much sprang out whole and complete there when I was enjoying the children exploring the garden. It's really um, a, a special treat to be there when and children are enjoying their first visit to nature. You, you know, that, that, I, lo I love the way you describe that. And, and you're saying any of our listeners can join the workshop if they want to. Can anybody, I mean, this is a funny question to ask maybe, but if someone comes, can they learn how to do a poem by walking around the, the, the Oakhurst Community Garden and, and make, do you show people how to be, or tell people how to be observant so that they can put a poem together like that? Well, I can share what I know and the other poets will also. There's no one way to write a poem and no one way to observe nature, but um, the, the only thing you need to know is um, to pay attention. And that's um, uh, an ancient thing called meditation, paying attention, and some theorize that meditation actually evolved from uh, the, uh, the mental state of a hunter on the alert in the forest and um, learning to pay attention to everything around him. Okay, so, so that's interesting. That's the, the origin of, of poetry then, uh, or at least of, of this kind of poetry. Well, um, this may be the very earliest kind of poetry. Yeah, I guess you, you're right about that. We have, enough, we have about uh, two and a half minutes left. Do you have a short poem, another short poem in the book that you want to share with us or that one yes. of yours? Yeah, I'll share this one by um, Nene. It's a haiku called Circadian Rhythm. Dawn honey spreading over battery sunlight on my morning toast. Sweet heat on my skin, sunshine seeps into my blood, circulating joy. Blue on blue on blue, clear skies sing in one color, music for the eyes. Dim dusk radiance in a silky undertone slowly reveals night. Moonlight on flowers, angels' trumpets drooping down in endless stillness. Okay, and, and who was that by? That's by Nene Oniaha. O Oniaha. Nene Oniaha. Um, Stephen Wayne, we have about a minute left. Uh, any last thing you want to share today with our Progressive News Hour audience, the Monday, Monday edition Radio Free Activists? I just want to say that, um, that um, humans tend to live in their own world these days and forget how dependent we are on nature. Um, nature is what feeds us, gives us water and air, and it's easy to forget that, but... Um, we forget it at our peril, and that's what's going on today. And earth poetry is one way of bringing back that awareness. Okay, and, and we still have, a, you know, maybe 30 seconds left, Stephen Wing. Do you want to give us the date, time, and place of the next earth poetry workshop, please? It'll be Sunday, February 23rd, from 2 to 4 in the afternoon, at the Oakhurst Community Garden on the corner of McDonough and Oakview Road in Decatur. Okay, and, and we'll keep announcing that on this program. We'll give you another 30 seconds because our, our next interviewee hasn't phoned in yet. Any, any last thing, really last short thing, haiku-like <laughs> you want to share with us, Wing? Sure. Um, Deborah Hires again wrote a, a haiku called um, Greenwich Village Haiku. And, and we'll tell our audience, of course, Greenwich Village is a place in Manhattan. Garbage men do wail. New York City mantra strikes for seven days straight. All right, seven days straight. And it is 1245. Our next interview is phoning in right now. Stephen Wing, thank you very much for joining us once again on Radio Free Activist.